Hello, so in this video we're going to take a quick run through the software on the BlackBerry Bold 9790, the latest handset from BlackBerry. This is it, it's a squashed 9900 really in the 9700-9780 chassis. There are some differences but it's an upgrade to the 9700 and the 9780, keeping a similar form factor and size but getting some of the specs of its big brother, the 9900, um, and I think this is actually one of the best solutions to date. It's got a reasonable feature set um, in what is a comfortable sized um, unit. So it's BlackBerry OS 7. Whilst this is going to look at the software, I've just run through some of the key specs. It's got a 1 gigahertz processor. On the back, we've got a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. Under here, we've got a standard SIM card slot, a 1230 milliamp hour battery and a micro SD card slot. There's eight gigabytes of memory internal to this device, so um, that's quite a nice feature uh, in itself. Um, it feels nice to the touch and we've got this four row QWERTY keyboard here as well, which gives you a very soft um, typing experience. It doesn't feel hard and it's probably one of the best keyboards to date. Now I don't know if there's technically any differences between this on the 9700 and um, what have you but it, it feels better in my opinion um, already. GPS, Bluetooth and everything um, as standard, your NFC, 3G and what have you. So let's take a quick look at the operating system in a bit more depth. So this has got a touch screen on it as well so you can now pull up menus like so you can customize things on screen like you can on some of the 9800 models. So we can move it um, around. We can drop our menus down. Because we've got the optical trackpad, we can scroll along like so. So we're in media, we go across to our favorites, what have you. We can open the menu like so. So let's take a look at some of the things. I mean, there's a lot of things we can look at, but let's take a look at some of the most popular. So if we go to the Clove website, not a good start, I've uh, put in the wrong URL from the history there, so let's try that again. So there we go, it's going to our mobile site. Now this is connected to a wireless um, connection at the moment, but of course you've got the 3G connectivity in this as well. You've got the optical trackpad, which is nice for scrolling through websites, or you can actually use the touch screen as well. Now this reminds me of the Android Motorola Pro Plus, which has a similar setup in terms of a physical keyboard and touch screen. You don't have the optical trackpad though, which is a Quite a big benefit in my opinion actually on usability of this device. The web browser is however better on an Android device. So I can um, tap in to things on the website, it renders all very well. I can double tap to zoom into the page like so or I can pinch and zoom as well. So I've got the full touch screen experience as well as having the optical trackpad and the ability to zoom in uh, like that as well. So that's pretty good. Let's just take a look at the camera. So we've got a five megapixel camera on here. have got the ability to turn some of the flash settings off, geolocations, scene modes here as well. We've got more options through the menu and the settings, including the size of the image that we want to generate from the camera. We've also got a video camera here as well, which works in a very similar way. We've got the ability to go into the options. It's not gonna give you the best resolution video, but um, acceptable for most people. Remember, it is only a five megapixel camera, but Blackberries tend to be all right um, for their um, camera quality, considering the uh, size of the megapixels. 
Let's go into videos and just demonstrate the screen and the sound on this device. So let's just pop this one open. Now, you might not appreciate it through this video, but the sound on that is pretty good for a smartphone. Blackberries have always been quite good. It's quite deep. It's um, got some good tones to it. The uh, video quality itself wasn't too bad. If we go into messages, I've got no messages here because no account's been set up, but we can um, type through the uh, physical keyboard here and it's quite a nice typing experience. You get the tactile feedback on the keys, which a lot of people do like. So those are some of the main functions really on the BlackBerry Bold 9790 in terms of the software. Um, you can check out more videos on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Clo Technology. Thanks for watching.